The Miami Dolphins just put up 70 points on the Denver Broncos. The Broncos just need to start over at this point. Just start over. Start the entire thing over. Trade players if you need to, just start over. Because Sean Payton lied to everybody. Sean Payton came out this offseason and he swore up and down that it was one of the worst, one of the worst coaching jobs he saw last season from Coach Nathaniel Hackett. He's taking shots at this man like they have personal beef. And Coach Hackett said nothing negative about Sean Payton, but he came out with his chest up high like he was going to make a difference. The only difference he made is this defense being worse than what it was last season. And I understand he doesn't have much to do with the defensive side of things, but he hired Vance Joseph to be the brand new defensive coordinator with this team. And it has been terrible. 70 points. And I understand one touchdown was a close range when Cortland Sutton fumbled the football, but still. 70 points. How do you let that happen with NFL talent? I've seen teams get 50 put on them, 56 points. 70 in the NFL is absurd. That's that, that's ridiculous. This is like a college score. Russell Wilson is not their biggest problem. Matter of fact, Russell Wilson has played very good football as of late. He hasn't been the top quarterback in the NFL, but he hasn't played terrible. Last season, that was, was holding his team back. Russell Wilson was not good as he was advertised to trade the multiple first-round picks for him. And then they also had the offensive line issue. So they went in this offseason. They tried to fix the offensive line by getting Ben Powers and Mike McGlinchey at the guard and tackle position. And then they went out and they tried to do as much as they can to help out this team by trading a first round pick to the Saints to go get Sean Payton. And so far, it has not worked. Now, we're only three three weeks in. They could turn this thing around, but I don't think that they can. You traded for a quarterback that is way too behind his prime. Russell Wilson is not going to go back to being the Russell Wilson he was a couple years ago. And the games that they're losing, even if Russell Wilson was playing like how he was with the Seattle Seahawks, it wouldn't help because now their defense can't stop a nosebleed. Vance Joseph is a terrible defensive coordinator. Horrible. He should not have a job in the NFL. And Sean Payton allows this to happen. Last week, they blew a huge lead in the second half. Was it because of Russell Wilson? It was because of how bad their defense was. Today, when they lost against the Miami Dolphins, it's not because of how bad Russell Wilson was. He played fine yet again. It's because of how bad the defense was. Everyone, including myself, gave Russell Wilson so much flack for how bad last season was, even though the offensive line was terrible. Right now, Sean Payton and Vance Joseph deserve all the blame. All of it. Yes, you fixed Russell Wilson, but your defense has suffered immensely. And I understand they're without Justin Simmons at the safety position, one of the best defensive players on this team, and Randy Gregory. Justin Simmons is a very essential player to this team. But that still is no excuse for them to go out and have 70 put up on their neck. And another situation as well, Randy Gregory, he hasn't been that good for this team anyway since they got him for free agency. They can't get past Rush. When they traded Bradley Chubb to the Miami Dolphins for a first-round pick, that's pretty much when the pass rush left the building. They can't get to the quarterback. Sam Howell last week, they were doing a phenomenal job in the first half. In the second half, they couldn't sack Sam Howell. And today's game, Tua Tungvaloy got sacked zero times and so did Mike White. Mike White, the backup, came in and immediately got a touchdown pass. This team can't stop the run. They can't cover. They can't do anything defensively. And you have Patrick Sertan, who was one of the best corners in the NFL from last season. The whole defensive system doesn't work. It seems like the players have already given up on this season. I think the Denver Broncos, this doesn't get better in the next couple weeks. You just started to just trade some players, get some draft capital, and you start over. Because at this point in time, it's an expensive mess, like I said last week. And this is not a Russell Wilson problem. This is a culture problem at this point. This is a franchise that hasn't gotten that quarterback situation right since Peyton Manning. And now their defense is in major trouble because of the coach that you have. And you also have a head case of Kareem Jackson at the state position who just loves to knock people out the game two weeks in a row. He didn't do it this week, but two weeks before just knocking people out the game. Because that's some of the stuff that Sean Payton wants to preach. Let's be tougher on defense. Let's do this. Let's do that. Your over-aggressiveness on defense and offense as well is costing you. They just need to cut bait at this point and just start over. I'm not saying fire Sean Payton right now, but the coach they should fire is Vance Joseph. 
So let me know in the comment section below, what should the Denver Broncos do? How do you feel about this team moving forward? Can they turn this thing around? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.